down on the fender. We got them in the bumper. Kind of like the looks. And they don't go together, so. I don't know. Good little something, something we're working on. I'm gonna put some down here on the steps too and put some uh, panels down on the sleeper. But we gotta go get some alfalfa for some old dirty sheep. I think we're going to the sheep farm. The sheep farm. What's up, what's up? It's your boy. So, you know, I, I really don't care. But I'm kind of clearing this up for other people. Um, you know, people seem to think that I keep changing and moving because of failure. Well, I'm here to tell you that you don't keep progressing in life. You don't keep getting better don't outdo the next guy by sitting still, okay? So, I started as car hauling, and I, I enjoyed hauling cars, you know, but there was a couple things that I didn't like about hauling cars, you know, but the manual labor is something that I need in my life for me. So, you know, I switched over to the drive van, and got me home a whole lot more, but man, I was just sitting and laying around in the truck and that just don't work for me. So, I hope it's not too loud. I'm going down a dirt road in like 10 mile an hour. Um, going over to this hay barn here to get some, get some hay. I think we're going to the sheep. So, um, so I've tried to find, you know, what what will work, like dry van, there's money in dry van. I see where you can be successful in dry van. Like, again, everything's seasonal. So, what do I need to do? I need to get through the season. I need to figure out what seasons I need to do what. And as I've always told you guys, don't make a move until you're in the trucking industry for all four seasons. Now, you can go a little further Say you should do each thing for four seasons, but I'm not doing that. Like I, I'm not going to keep you know hauling trucks or, or driving in when I'm not happy or whatever. So I went out and got a flatbed, you know, for the manual labor part of it. Um, I do get home a whole lot more than cars, not than driving in. Drive in because I can do it locally so well. Like it's just on point. So I, I just keep, keep moving up, you know. Now I didn't sell my drive in, I still have my drive in trailer. Um, I just bought another trailer, you know, because as I'm talking about seasons and everything in trucking is seasonal. Like, you're not going to be hauling this hay in the middle of a tsunami or a rain or a snowstorm. You can, but I'm not. Uh, so, you know, I don't want to be slinging frozen tarts in the middle of winter. People do it, but why would I do that? I'll just set myself up to not have to do that. And, and that's, you know, what I'm doing. So, I, uh... You know, I found, uh, kept moving up on my trucks. You know, I got, uh, every truck I moved up to was better than the, than the previous. That's the whole point. It's a good looking hay there, boy. Not as good as that last load of alfalfa, but it's pretty good. Um, so, you know, people, people are going to talk smack about you. People are going to hate on what you're doing and not understanding. Dude, I have a guy that's not even in truck, doesn't even have a CDL. Like, Robert Baker knows so much, but does nothing. Like, and those are the type of guys that if you're a real hustler, they will keep you fueled. 
you know, in the video I said me and the bumblebee gonna keep stinging haters. Well, guess what my second comment was? Boom! Sting them! What did, what did he say? Fly like a bumblebee? Like, soar like a butterfly? Sting like a bee? Type of deal. So, guys, you do what's best for you. You progress at your level. Whatever you want to do. Like, living in different areas, you're going to do different things. So, some winter time, holiday season, I can run local around my house and be home a whole lot. Summertime, springtime, I can be out here getting this money in the fields, in the, in the construction sites. So, it, it's just, it's all about what you want to do. And people are going to hate because A, they can't do it, and B, they don't understand how you keep doing it. You know, like, if you really read these comments, these guys like every, act like everything's handed to them. Well, let me tell you something. When you go through six trucks, seven trucks, you know, because you, you upgrade or one blows up or one gets wrecked, if it's obvious that you work your butt off, you save your money, and you're ready for the next thing. And you are prepared for when crap hits the fan, one way or the other. Um, now I'm not going to sit here in front like this with the big cash. Like, after everything, this one is not, I didn't pay cash for this one, you know. So, you got to get it how you can get it. No one is handing you anything in this business, but there is tons and tons of money that you can work for and earn and keep it rolling. So, I'm hoping I found a decent truck this time. We'll see what happens. But, I will guarantee you one thing. As of right now, we ain't going nowhere. So, uh, just a little message, you know, to people getting into this. Don't let others discourage you. You do what looks right in your eyesight. Now, so you're going to have to take advice. If I stuck to my eyesight, I would not be driving this truck. And you all know that. I'm not a new truck guy. But I took advice, I listened, and I do, did what was recommended. So far, so good. You know, so, and we're gonna talk, we'll talk on another video about what it cost me to get this thing up and running. But guys, if, if you wanna succeed, you will succeed. Just ignore the haters, ignore them. They get the most upset, when you don't take their advice. So, hope that helped you. Hope you understand. Like, share, subscribe. Hit that ding, ding. And I will see you tomorrow. Peace.